Ron Kogan, presidente del premio al auto verde del año. Well, uh, Ron, uh, here with Ron Kogan from Connecticut, uh, from a Green Card uh, Journal, and uh, so another word and uh, another surprise uh, for a lot of people, maybe, right, with the BMW i3. Well, you know, there's only one winner every year, and everybody picks the one that they think is going to be uh, on top. And I know there were expectations from some that uh, certain cars would be that car on top. In the end, though, the BMW i3. Um, really got a heavy tap from the, from our jurors. Yeah. Uh, it, it it sets the bar in so many ways. It was a very compelling finalist. Because it's not only the powertrain. I think it's more of the materials that it's made of, the the way it's built, the way it can be repaired. So those factors, I guess, that were were uh, taken into consideration to give the prize, right? Yeah. I mean, when you, when you look at the i3, uh, and I think all of this is important. It's starting with the uh, the Project I. Uh, initiative from BMW started that in 2007. You know, they they looked at well, what do we think is going to be needed in the future, and let's focus on urban areas because mega cities are going to represent a big part of yeah. our transportation headaches for society. And when you look at mega cities, how do you get around? How do you do it with with in ways that are low emission? How do you do it with the right size footprint? And that, that's when they they decided to go with the i3. And again, the i3 isn't the only element. But the BMW i3 is the one that's high profile right now. So the fact that that is their mega city vehicle, that it's electric, that it has a range extender so you, you're not so consumed options, by range, yeah. range anxiety, which is a very real issue. Um, the fact that it's made of carbon fiber, nobody's doing that. That's in race cars. Um, they built a factory in the state of Washington to, to manufacture um, these materials and, and the body panels. It's, it's all so high tech. It's all... Such every part is such a green answer yeah. that it's very compelling when you look at the whole picture. It isn't just that it's an electric car. And by the way, it's the first all-electric car that's ever been a green car of the year for us. Oh yeah, really. Which people may think is unusual, but um, you know, we we always have the touchstones. It's got to be it's got to be fun to drive. We're car enthusiasts, <laughs> exactly. and and we don't want to give up anything. We want to gain things. And so you know, electric cars never come out on top of other ones that were more compelling. This is a first. Yeah, So, uh, and that's one, some idea that my people have wrong about electric or hybrid or like fish, efficient cars. I mean, these kind of cars can also be really fun to drive too. Yeah, and this one is. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, even to the even even small things that you wouldn't think would be meaningful, but if you're thinking ahead, you, you take your foot off the accelerator, you don't even need to apply the brake. You can be stopping for the next yeah. stoplight. The things like that are fun. It, it really adds a new dimension to the driving experience. So it's not only efficient, but but it's fun to drive, and it's pretty agile. It's lightweight. Um, it really scoots. Yeah. And and uh, so like in that, that, that uh, those terms of like learning how to drive this car, there's something to be. I mean, a, a lot of people might have a little bit of uh, doubts about them, but there's a learning curve in, into charging it, into how to how to adapt it to your life and, and the actual driving experience. Well, I mean, it really, it drives like any any other car. It just happens to be electric. And I've been through this with many many electric cars I've driven over the years. Just like any new test vehicle we get, every one is a little bit different. You have to get used to, uh, you know, what are the features of this car? Is it does a push button start? Am I still using a key? How do I set up my Bluetooth? Uh, all the all the various things. They have different idiosyncrasies to different cars. With an electric vehicle, really, once you found the on button, you're you're, you're on, on the, you're you're on the road. Yeah. There's there's nothing different about driving it. It drives really similarly to a gasoline car. For charging, and I've been through this with many different cars. Pretty simple. If if you if you buy an electric car, you're likely to have a charger in your garage. In the end, you're going to plug it in at night. You're going to get up to a, what's what's equivalent to a full tank in the morning. Yeah. That's so it. Pr pretty much, if you have a cell phone, you know how to charge it. Right? <laughs> well, yeah, and that's the other dimension is you can do this remotely. You can yeah. monitor the state of charge. You can set when you want it, if it's at home when you want it to start charging for for better electrical rates and when you want it to stop. Yeah. So. You know, me. The the more um, involved part might be learning how do I use my app to control <laughs> these things. Yeah. But you know, you don't have to do that. Absolutely. You can just yeah. plug it in. Exactly. So um, the winner BMW i3, but there were other candidates that were like really worthy of the of the award too. Oh yeah, there were. You know, when you when you look at uh, VW uh, with a, a very advanced, efficient gasoline. The Golf you're talking uh, about. Yeah, the 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 Golf. Yeah, the VW Golf. Uh, efficient gasoline, efficient uh, clean diesel TDI, which is always 
fun to drive. I know. So much torque, low-end torque. And then electric drive in certain states for buyers, you know, that really says a lot. That's a, that's a compelling vehicle as well. The, the new Audi A3 TDI, I mean, the first time that A3 has been here as a sedan, it's a yeah. beautiful sedan. And the, the new TDI engine, uh, when, you, when you can get over 40 miles a gallon, in a vehicle that's that fun to drive, it's almost sinful. You know, yeah. it's just it is beautiful a car. Of data that's coming yeah. off, um, so, so I mean, all of the cars, the Honda Fit, 41 miles a gallon on, in highway driving, and for being such a small car, the greatest seating configurations for the most functionality. Um, uh, the, the, the natural gas bi fuel uh, Impala. It's the Impala is actually a great looking car. It's and it's fun to drive, has a lot of power. And I like driving on natural gas, and it's really cheap. Well, excellent, uh, Ron. Thank you very much again for your time, and congratulations on the new edition of this. And we'll be back next year, I think. Okay, see you then. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Pues ahí tuvo ahí Tom Prusinski, que es el director de comunicaciones de BMW para Norteamérica en el Auto Show de Los Ángeles al recibir el Green Car of the Year Award para el BMW i3 2015. Well, Tom, uh, congratulations on another award for a BMW i3 uh, Green Car of the Year award. I mean, like there was tough competition, but like the, the many technologies in this car, maybe that's what put him ahead of everywhere, everyone else. It would seem so. Right? When uh, when um, Ron Kogan described why they, this car got the award, it, it was clear that it was not just an electric car, but it was all the technologies that went into it. This is the first mass-produced carbon fiber car on the on the road. We had to develop a plant to build the carbon fiber. Uh, we had to build a plant to weave the carbon fiber and another one to injection mold it in a, in a process that took minutes instead of hours. Yeah. So it was, um, it was, there was a lot of new technologies that had to come together and took quite some time. Yeah. Uh, and now we have it on, on the road and for people to drive. Because BMW has been investing in uh, high efficiency technologies for like, what, mo well, a lot of time. For right? a long, long time, yeah. yes, exactly. We've, we've worked with high, high tensile steel, we've worked with uh, aluminum and and now with the yeah composites. i remember also the bmw 7 series with the hydrogen uh, exactly power train yes. that you said we are ready when the We're infrastructure ready when... is ready exactly so in exactly. this case uh, the infrastructure is there because everybody has a, a <laughs> charger right at home well you not everyone has one yet but i think no, down I mean, the like road everyone you can will charge on a regular battery too yes right? you can it, it will take longer. longer it takes yeah. longer exactly so but there are, especially out here in California, there yeah. are charging stations all over the place, and uh, and it's it's much easier to use this as your as your daily commuter. Yeah. So I mean, besides the awards that are great, I mean, how has been the reaction from the public? I mean, I already seen it a lot of in Miami where I live, and here in yeah. LA, and in many different places, it's already coming out. Well, exactly, and we launched two models at the same time: the i3 and the yeah. i8. The i8 is the the, the gorgeous uh, plug-in hybrid, and uh, there's about a two-year waiting list for that car. Uh, with this car, it's a, it's a much higher volume model, and uh, it's uh, it's selling at a rate of around a thousand a month, which is well above our expectations, and uh, we're very pleased with its early success. Is it available already in the whole uh, USA? It's available at where, yes, across the country. Right. Yep. Well, thank you very much, Tom, for your time, and congratulations again. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Pues felicidades a BMW por este otro premio, un premio adicional al BMW i3 allí en Los Ángeles y como decíamos antes se suma en realidad a una lista ya larga de premios que ha recibido este auto y vamos a ver qué pasa ahora porque en el año el año 2015 el próximo año allá en el Auto Show de Nueva York el BMW i8 el segundo vehículo de esta nueva submarca de BMW BMW i el i8 podría recibir también uno o más premios porque puede ser ya sea el premio al diseño porque con su eh, figura con su imagen que es prácticamente la de un prototipo es sumamente atractivo con esas alas ese, con esas puertas de estilo ala de gaviota también por la tecnología que es similar a la del BMW i3 sin embargo el i8 tiene un motor que impulsa que genera electricidad para impulsarlo después con el motor eléctrico puede ganar entonces el auto mundial puede ganar el auto del de mejor diseño y puede ganar también quizá por qué no el auto eh, deportivo del año 2015 en the world car of the year award que se entregará en nueva york en marzo del 2015 y allá por supuesto vamos a estar también y no se vayan que cuando regresemos aquí en auto 060 tenemos más debuts del auto show de los ángeles 2014 y como siempre les recomiendo que vayan al canal de youtube autos javier mota para que vean todos los videos que hemos publicado de la cobertura en los ángeles